Right now, it is Sunday, June 23rd, 2024. So what you're about to witness is a mixture of everything. I got a lot of content recorded over the last two days. I have experienced what appears to be some of the most extreme paranormal activity over the years. And this is an extremely haunted place that's caught on camera. And inside this building, there are lockers and doors. And wait until you see what the surveillance camera caught happening to these lockers and the doors in this building. Late at night in this building, the security cameras capture what appears to be ghosts entering through the doorways. Not only one ghost, it seems to be more coming inside to haunt this place. Then they take interest in some lockers. As you see, they're trying to knock over the lockers. Now they attempt to open some lockers. Now they go after a wet sign. Once again. Now this type of paranormal activity has happened in my house before. Now if you compare what has happened at my house to what you have witnessed, what was caught on the security cameras at that building, you can see whatever kind of energy it is, it's capable of moving objects. Now, I don't know about you, but I think I would not go into that building late at night by myself. Definitely would like to take a good friend with me, such as Omar from Omar Gosh TV, one of my good friends. I wanna go over there with him because I don't wanna do this alone. I feel like I need to have an expert with me because I am not no expert when it comes to the paranormal. I am just some guy out there who loves to explore places and share my experiences with you, but I'm not an expert in the paranormal. But I can tell you one thing, there is some obsessed stalker fan who is not giving up. And I thought she was deported and the drama continues and things are getting worse. And I'm tempted to just move out of the country, basically. That's, that's what it's coming to. Now it's time to focus on what has been happening last night this stalker is not given up and i caught their vehicle on camera in the middle of the night i saw that gray suv once again while it's dark i'm walking around trying to find where it is i want to keep walking i'm not giving up i want to know why she's following me around in this neighborhood why is she so interested in knowing where I'm going, who I'm hanging out with, where I shop? It's like she's, she is, she's obviously obsessed with me for some reason, which doesn't make sense. Like, why is she obsessed with me? Can't she just find something else to do? I mean, she leaves a note. She tries to get into my Tesla. When I was at this place the other day, she has this cane. And she drops it and starts walking. Then she starts running. I guess walking wasn't good enough. You know, because I was, I walk fast. So I guess maybe she underestimated how fast I was walking. She started taking off thing is I need to see her face to face I mean right in front of me I want to see her right in front of me I don't want her running off I don't want her disappearing I want to have a confirmation right there close up from a distance it looks just like her leaving a note on my windshield wiper blade I mean that's right there in itself is already a clue that it has to be her because it has her handwriting so, I mean, 
what other clue do I really need? I hear something back there. I am back at the house. I had walked probably two and a half, three miles. And I already walked my 20K steps today. You know, I've been doing a lot in the last couple of days. I went on another road trip and I just got back now. And that's what concerns me. I go in the house, I get a notification that there's something in the proximity of my driveway. I check the footage. It's the gray SUV. So then I go outside and start walking in the neighborhood to see what is going on. And that's where I am at this time. Now I'm back. I didn't find anything. I didn't see her. I don't know. I'm going inside. And I'll wait. I'll wait. Like I said, I'm not giving up. I'm not going to let this stalker try to ruin my my weekend. I mean, I still got tomorrow left and then it's back to the stock market, back to work and all that. So I'm trying to make the best of the weekend. She drove by again. Again. Really slowly coming this way. You know what? I'm just going to stand back in here in these woods and I'm just going to wait and see what happens. If she decides to want, she wants to come around again. Well then, we'll see. I can see part of the road from here, so I'm just gonna stand right here and watch. I see, I see, I see something right there. Something's right there. I swear she's parked right there on the side of that road. Something right there, I can't tell if that's the one or not. That SUV started going down the road again, and I caught it on camera this time. See, I would love to just follow this vehicle, but of course, probably not the best idea, because I have to have 100% proof that it's actually her before I would do that. 
you know, I, I just can't randomly follow somebody just because I have a hunch that it's her, you know, this stalker. I got to make sure. You know, she's got tinted windows. If it's her, she's got, the windows are so tinted you can't tell. But I was able to see somebody walking to the vehicle. So I don't know why she got out. Maybe she, <laughs> I'm gonna look around and see if I can find any notes. There's no telling. She might be leaving a, a trail for me to follow. You know, that's just, she's done stuff like this before. That's pretty. Wow. Yeah. This guy's got some pretty colors. Wow. That's pretty nice. I'm on another road trip to Florida once again. Just getting away, trying to do things, you know, explore places and stay happy. I don't know, the sky, there was supposed to be a storm later. Well, today is Saturday, June 22nd, 2024. On another road trip, surrounded by boats. It's like a party going on, gonna be fireworks, all kinds of celebration. And I got birds right above my head, so if I, uh, Look under there, they might, uh, they might crap on me. I don't know. Once again, right here. Should I check it out at night? I asked that question in another video. Just let me know. Ow. Right behind me, that's where all the action's happening. There's places to eat out there on the water. There's gonna be fireworks when it gets dark. I think I passed through this area just in time because I'm headed further south. I'm gonna be going into uh, Tampa and Clearwater. Wanna go explore the beaches there, meet up with a friend of mine. Figured why not go on another road trip? You know, it's only a few hours driving, you know, to this point. So kind of just taking a little break. And then after this, go another hour and a half or hour and 40 minutes, stop again. Then go another hour, so I'm just going to keep on going. Just still going for my walk. Ran into one of my good friends while I'm out this way and uh, I'm gonna continue my journey. It's, it's a lot happening here. It gets quite festive as soon as summer officially starts and it's officially the start of summer now. So that's what's happening. She wants to drive behind me. All right. It could be another great SUV, but it's kind of funny that there's one that just comes right up behind me and it's getting closer and closer. Now I gotta figure out where I need to go. I am now back home. I can't believe what I'm experiencing lately. If it's not some crazy stalker woman, it's crazy weather. I mean, we have storm, lightning, and thunder, then funnel cloud 
turn into some kind of water spout, turn into a tornado. <sighs> out on the boat, there was there were several people out on the boat. So several several of us caught this on camera. And some of us just, uh, it was like this. We were in disbelief of what was being witnessed. And unfortunately, sometimes these things are just not big enough to be caught on the radar, you know, and that's just what happens. But what do you expect when you go to Florida to visit? You, you see either alligators, um, a lot of other crazy things. On top of that, crazy weather and high heat and humidity. And some stalker woman who just keeps following me everywhere, no matter where I go. I'm going to go for a walk and probably going to go on another road trip. I, I, I feel the pressure because things aren't doing well right now in my life. Oh, let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. I enjoy exploring places, but sometimes I like to go with a friend. It just makes it more exciting to share that experience together. And here's a time that I went to some place that was extremely haunted. And this was with one of my good friends, Omar from Omar Gosh TV. Now I love visiting these times in the past because it brings me back to a time where I was very happy and hanging around my friends more often. And it just seems like things have changed over time and everybody gets busy and now I'm dealing with this crazy stalker. So it's, it's a lot on my plate, but here is going down memory lane with uh, a good friend of mine. Oh, man. <laughs> I had to go pick up something at the CVS. You know what? What the <laughs> going in there? You know, like you go to New Orleans and you see people buried above ground. We went exploring one of the most haunted cemeteries in Florida, but this time we decided to go across the country and explore another cemetery. And this one was even more terrifying. It's gonna get really loud in here. Jersey thing. Look at that. My goodness. Here we are at the cemetery right near the Clown Motel. And if some scary shit's gonna happen, it's gonna happen here. So scary, scary. I just 
think this may be a place to do a spirit box session and see if I can get any answers from any of the spirits out here. See all these graves are, they use a lot of stones, a lot of rocks I'm making their graves here. Just wood and rocks. And I communicate out here. See what is out here. I'm out here tonight trying to communicate to any spirits that may be out here in the cemetery. I'd like to know if you're here haunting the clown motel. Are you here right now haunting the hotel? The motel. Yeah. So you are. What is your name? Adam. Adam. How did you pass away? How long have you been haunting the motel here? How many years? Five years? Do you have any family here? How many people are in your family? Was that seven? Are you okay with me out here in the cemetery right now? Is that yeah? Yeah. Were you making sounds in my room? Did you move the light? Adam, did you move the light in my room? Were you pacing up and back and forth on the ceiling? No? Do you know who was pacing back and forth in the, in the ceiling? Thank you for letting me talk to you. I'm going to end this. Yeah, man. Yeah. I, I, someone here named Adam had passed away, and I asked if they were haunting this place, and they said, yeah, that they were haunting the motel. Adam. So I got one name. I wonder if the reason why the Clown Motel is haunted is because of this cemetery. Oh. You know, maybe some of these miners, you know, a lot of them were young. A lot of people were very young died here. And maybe they are pranksters too. Now I feel like I want to look around and see if I can find a name Adam on any of these. Wow. Now that that, was, that word came up very clear. I know that there's little kids buried here too. Oh, yeah. From the, they called it the Tonopah Plague. Oh. I'm not, not exactly sure what that was yeah. though. Yeah. I'm guessing yellow fever. Hmm. Yeah. I'm going to look around and see if there's any name that starts with Adam. Adam. Yeah. I was around this area when I heard the name Adam pop up. Isn't it strange, like, how cemeteries are in different places? Yeah. You know, like, you go to New Orleans and you see people buried above ground. Yeah. You know, you come here to the desert and you see rocks. Yeah. Like, this is their landscape. Wooden headstones. Whoa, look at this one.
Whoa. Look how brave Roland is. Like he has no sweaters oh on, my no gosh. jacket, nothing. Like, like the owner said that there's some cool stuff that can be seen out right here, things that you can hear. Killer clown wind. It's like the Arctic breeze, isn't it? But at least it's not in the zeros, though, or negative numbers. How cold does it have to be for you to wear a jacket? In the negative numbers? Negative numbers? Yeah, like below zero, maybe. I'll what? wear a light jacket. Like a, you know, just a. I know what it is I end up wearing. It's a flannel shirt as a jacket. Flannel shirt? Yeah, over my shirt I'll wear a flannel shirt. Oh, this Whoa. Is, this is the room that Roland's staying in. It's 102. Yeah. One thing that we caught that was pretty awesome, did catch it in my video, and Roland caught it a lot in his video, there's nobody sleeping on the second floor. At all, yeah. those rooms are not rented out. On my side, however, they are rented out. Yeah, that's what's crazy. You're in footsteps and there's nobody up there, except for ghosts. Just some ghosts. Yeah. So, Roland keeps hearing, it's almost like somebody's up there doing laps, like, and I yeah. caught it too. You wanna go in here? Pretty big animal. <laughs> Let's see if we can hear it. Pretty big one. Oh my gosh. Hope you got your heater on. <laughs> oh, my face hurts. Oh, oh gosh. Oh. Pennywise up in here. <laughs> and let me tell you something about this. I'm already getting vibes about this. That Pennywise picture, I feel like something is staring into my soul. And I'm gonna lay in this bed tonight, okay? And that's gonna be staring at me. And I feel like something is more than just a painting. Or, you know, and in here, my EMF meter, blowing up. Blowing up right here. Right there, up to the roof. The highest you have I've your ever EMF seen. meter? Let's see if it turns on again. Oh, I, I left it in the office. Oh, you did? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's in the office. But yeah, right there. It, it blew up. All right, it won't be long because it seems like as soon as I get in here, it's almost like my energy draws whatever's up there to start pacing the floor. Yeah. Yeah. It I don't know. A really good catch while, while you were in here. I, I believe it was this lamp, and it, this lamp like moved or something. Yeah. You were hearing some noises and you were filming and that lamp just started moving out of nowhere. Yeah. And you weren't anywhere near it. No. And see, I, it's what I, I feel like since I get emotional, like I can stress a lot, it's feeding off of me. It's feeding off my emotions. And I've been stressed a lot. And when I came in here, I think maybe I came in here with excess bag, you know, emotional baggage. And yeah. that's only just kind of making them more active. Dang. Yeah. So far, not hearing anybody up there. If they were, whatever entities are up there, 
they were stomping so hard that these hangers were moving. Oh, really? They were rattling. <laughs> And I thought, I mean, actually, they stomped so hard, some of this is on the floor down here. Some of this popcorn, whatever, is on the, it's legit on the floor over here. Oh, wow. Right, look at here, all over the floor. You see yeah, it? There is pop some popcorn. It, 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 it started falling out of the ceiling. That's how hard whatever was stomping up there. Yeah, there's, it's all over the ground. You can see right there. It was like snow up in here. I'm like, seriously, like, what, what would be like banging that hard it, like what kind of ghost is doing this huh. they, mu they must be angry <gasps> yes that was a real yawn that was a very powerful yawn usually my yawns are contagious and they make other people yawn <laughs> and they make him, him, him yawn it's not a, i'm not tired enough to yawn and he's definitely not cold enough put the jacket on <laughs> or a sweater or whatever. I'm going to bed. I'm gonna set up some cameras. Well I hope you have fun sleeping. <laughs> we'll see how that goes because uh, I have all these ghosts stomping here so I imagine that's not gonna be a good night's sleep. You know the nap that I had was really good and yeah well like we were reading early on some of those stories. <laughs> Dude I just started moving out of nowhere, and then it stopped. What the hell? Yeah, we'll wait until water bottles start flying, and <laughs> what else is going to happen? I mean, there's no telling what's going to happen tonight. Okay, it's just a matter of just time will tell. Is there a vent or something over here? The only vent there is is that right there that's plugged in that that's wall. It's the only, the only thing going on over but here. I started like just moving back and forth, and I didn't even touch it. What is doing it all? And that's the spot where all the little things are on the floor too. Yeah. Interesting. So oh, like you, you hear it? It's starting. They're it stepping. Is? There's ghosts stepping up there. Yeah, I thought this window was open or something. They're already starting. Oh I hear it. Is there anybody in this this room? Above us? That was the duck. That's the stinker man. Well, they're knocking on the wrong door, ain't they? All right, so I'm gonna go to bed. Be you safe, man. Safe journey back there. <laughs> oh boy, you left me a present in here. <laughs> <laughs> Remember some of the clowns that were here when I came to visit? I think that one was here. I remember him. Um, I don't know. There was a lot back then too, but there's a lot. Okay, these things, something here is definitely got, it's reading a lot on the meter. Look at that. Maybe it's him. Look at that. That's blowing up. Let's see if it goes down when I move it away. I go back here. It goes up. And here it's, yeah. It's, Something's here. Oh, look at Pennywise just chilling right there. <laughs> oh man, wow. that it uses. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember on my Hills Bar Game video we were talking about SLS. Yeah, your haunted doll is still reading 
definitely reading on there. Wow, you're a haunted clown. Uh, oh, oh. See, look, it's picking up Roland. Oh. It only picks up human figures. There's something that it's picking up over there, but. Oh, shit. Oh, look at that. Oh, shoot. Whoa. Oh. Look at that. It's picking up a figure over there. Whoa. Look. It's in the painting. Farewell. Farewell to the Clown Motel. The world's most haunted clown motel. Because there's not a whole lot of them anywhere, right? <laughs> Man. What an experience. What an experience here. Went from the warm weather. I left the haunted house to get away from that shit, right? And I end up back in it. Back in it again, but different place. But at least I leave that here and I don't have to take it with me. Hopefully I didn't have any, I don't have anything attached to anything in my bag. Hope not. But man, it's nice and cool out here. What is it, like 28 degrees? It's cold. <laughs> it's cold. Like right here. Yeah, yeah, so I'm getting in the car. where it was under renovations and they were gonna make it an actual hotel. Here's the Goatfield Hotel right here. This is supposed to be a very haunted hotel. One of the most haunted hotels.
Crazy, huh? What is up, fam? On a little road trip right now. My friend Roland. Hey. And we rolling through the desert. Oh, yeah. What the heck? Ain't nothing out here. I wonder if there's any animals out there. There'd be a horse with no name out there in the desert. Wow. buildings back there. Whoa. So that's what it's looking like out here right now. Welcome to this traffic in LA. Uh, we're here. Officially in LA. So we did the Coroni test. Yeah. And Omar was trying to make me think that the <laughs> test result was positive. I knew he was going to go do that. <laughs> he knew I was going to. I knew it. I, I was waiting for that. I'm like, yeah. yeah. I, I know what he's going to say. I know he's going to do it. But well, yeah, we're free of that. I got all my brain intact. Well, I, I think I do at least. But my blood pressure, I'm a little concerned about that. I might have to pick up a, might have to go pick up something at the CVS. You know what? We were nervous <laughs> going in there. Yeah, we were. My blood pressure was a little high. My, my yeah. Been yeah. driving, stressed out. Yeah. You know, we went from one extreme to that. It was freezing cold, now it's warm. Yeah. So. I, think, I think just a little bit of maybe loosen it up might help. A good meal, <laughs> some sleep. Yeah. The Queen Mary early before our big event. Oh, there goes my baby right over there. Oh, I can't wait to show you. I love the Queen Mary. Uh, someone, because I had talked about it, has said, Oh, well, I wonder why you film so much of the Queen Mary. It must be easily accessible. No, it is not easily accessible. This is on the other side of the world for me. It's just that I love it so much. It's so good in history, haunted history. It's such a majestic boat that just takes you back in time when you're there. If you're anywhere near like Los Angeles, Southern California, you have to come and visit the Queen Mary. I believe you can come without spending the night there and do tours. They have museums there. Amazing place. Uh, it looks like a roller coaster. Yeah, we're in I downtown think, Long Beach right now. Look right above the traffic. Is that what that is? Yeah. It's yeah. cool as a Nike outlet. <laughs> the tall palm trees. That's cool. It's been 40 years since I've been out here, man. 40 years. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, huh? Yeah, well, I guess I'm old, but I don't feel old. You're only as old as you feel. Yeah. I feel like I could still run a marathon if I wanted to. We should run a marathon. At the next time, turn left. Yeah, I like running and jogging and walking. Look at it out of here. Wow. Turn left on the Queen Mary. Going over to the Queen Mary. Yeah, gonna go to the Queen Mary today. Can't wait to get in there. See what's haunting that ship. 600 reported torture guys. Oh my God, holy shit. <laughs> I'm ready for that. 
you guys scared to come home with you? I ain't scared of no ghosts. Huh? No way, Jose. It's funny you mention that. <laughs> See my shirt? What is it? Oh my god! <laughs> I ain't scared of no ghosts. <laughs> Look, Queen Mary Drive. In half a mile, you have toward Queen Mary. Ooh. Look at that. I'm excited. Dad, would you look at it? Wow. How are you doing? You I'm doing at? great. Just here pulling up to the Queen Mary. Oh, that's so awesome. Are you, did you are you coming here or no? Alright, well, I decided not to stay here because I got a bad headache. So now I'm getting an Uber out of here. And uh head back to the house and see what happens there problem is when I got the COVID testing my blood pressure was really high and uh, I don't know if it's because of the stress and the anxiety because I'm not getting sleep because of all the paranormal events going on in my house you know just I'm so far away I'm thousands of miles away and I'm worried that something's gonna happen as you have witnessed this video contains footage that was recorded over the last couple of days and then there's some footage that happened a while back which is very comparable to what was caught on surveillance camera at this building where it was positioned to face the lockers and the doorways. Now, I don't know if there's any connection between that place and the house I used to live in up north, but the way things happened seem very similar in nature. So it leads me to believe that this could be the same kind of ghost. Are there different kinds of ghosts that do different kinds of things? I don't know. I'm ignorant when it comes to that. I'm just here to try to entertain you with whatever I can find that intrigues me and leads me to believe that it's paranormal and related to the things that have happened where I used to live. That's it. I am no expert. I don't claim to be an expert. I'm totally dumb when it comes to this, which is another reason why I really don't care about doing much of the paranormal videos because then I feel like I'm an amateur. I don't know much about it and I'm just making a fool out of myself and I'm just going to share the experiences that I have and leave it up to you to decide whether it's a ghost, a stalker or some other kind of phenomenon because I don't want to label anything or say it's one thing or another if I really don't know what I'm looking at, you know? Because some of these things, it's hard to tell what it could be. It could be numerous things, especially if you watch a lot of these paranormal videos on YouTube. It's really hard to know exactly the real story behind what you're witnessing. It's just really hard to know. So me not being an expert, i rather just leave it to the opinion of those who watch my content or other content out there on YouTube. I mean, whoever's uploading paranormal, you know, they're probably more qualified than I am, right? Because I'm just this family guy, you know, over the years that was sharing my life and going on family vacations and, you know, just doing fun things and bringing you along with me. I really haven't been that paranormal guy. I mean, I do have friends who are into the paranormal content and that's kind of where... I got drawn into that paranormal world is because of my friends who are into that kind of content. If it wasn't for them, I would have totally not have gotten into that with this, you know, whole YouTube channel. So I'm thinking that, you know, it's because of the influences of my friends, you know, and maybe me feeding into it. It's kind of like a reaction cause, you know, there's a, there's a lot of physics involved or whatever you want to call it. Like, think about it. I'm, I'm done. I'm not talking no more. I really, I just forgot. Like, nobody likes me talking a lot. It's like annoying. Sorry, I don't want you, I don't want to annoy you. Uh, I'm done. But anyway, you're amazing. 
Don't forget to smash that like button and uh, share this on YouTube, share it on social media. Uh, make sure you subscribe, turn on your notification bell so you don't miss anything. I'm gonna go for a walk and probably gonna go on another road trip. I, I, I feel the pressure because things aren't doing well right now in my life. Anyway, all of you are amazing. I wouldn't be making YouTube content if it wasn't for you. You really helped me through some really difficult times. It's like I'm not alone because you're here. I can comment to you and read your comments and it just makes living alone much more bearable. And uh, even though I'm fine, I feel self-sufficient that I don't really need to have a companion in my life because I've learned to adapt. And with the trust issues that I have, it makes it difficult to be with anybody. And there's only a select few people that I trust and they already have existing relationships. So if any of those relationships ever change, maybe there'll be some opportunities. But in the meantime, I can't just sit around waiting for that. But maybe some someone will come into my life to who I can trust. You know, someone who I can trust. Then I'll feel whole and complete. But in the meantime, I'm just enjoying the outdoors, exploring places, meeting people in public and hanging out with some friends. But as far as having a meaningful relationship with someone who would, you know, maybe move in with me, that would be great. But I don't want to deal with that stalker woman because she's not, <laughs> that's why I probably have more trust issues now than I ever had. Anyway, don't forget to smash that like button, share this on YouTube, and make sure your notification bell is turned on so you don't miss a thing. And make sure you're subscribed if you want to. Uh, that way you still don't miss a thing. Anyway, take care and be safe.